I am not a fan of networking. I'm an introvert by nature. And that the very reason I joined Toastmasters is that I find it a challenge to speak before an audience. In fact, there's nothing that sends my tummy churning more than the thought of walking into a room full of strangers and having to strike up a conversation with someone I have never met before. So is there a way of building a professional network if this is a skill that does not come naturally to you? There is no doubt that networking is beneficial for your career. It has been shown to advance your career. It can expose you to new people with fresh ideas. And it also allows you to build lifelong contacts who might be useful at some points in your career. So why do we find it so scary? There are a variety of reasons. The first is that it may come across as being, as being superficial for some. It may make one feel vulnerable and worry about how they will come across and that they might not be interesting enough. And there's also that added weight with networking, that added weight of the fear of missing out, that somehow if you don't get networking right, your career might be doomed. So is there a way of building a network of professional contacts if attending networking events fills you with dread? And the answer is yes. And today I'm going to share with you four tips. The first is to allow time. A career is not built in a day as are contacts. You can build a strong network of professional contacts by cultivating your professional relationships one at a time. If you are consistent and trustworthy, people tend not to forget you. The second is to work hard on yourself. If you continually strive to build yourself personally and professionally, you may not need to network. Contacts will come looking for you. The third is to enlist a friend. If you are going to attend a networking event and you can take someone along with you, take a friend or a colleague. But what I'll challenge you to do is when you do get to that networking event, try to network on an individual basis to hone the skill. The last point is to set realistic expectations. If you assert that human interaction is complex and things may or may not go to plan, you are more likely to enter a networking environment with an open mind and relaxed and in that way, more likely to make connections. So in conclusion, there is a way around networking, even if it's a skill that does not come naturally to you. Build your contacts over time, work hard on yourself, enlist a friend and set realistic expectations.